Now we're gonna do squats. Squats is what I call the king of all exercise. It's actually my favorite. This exercise is where you pound in the beef. This is where you build mass. We're talking about overall mass in the quads, the glutes, a little bit of the back because you're using your back to stabilize your body a little bit more. So this exercise is very crucial to get your proper angle, proper speed, a proper tempo. Because most of the time, this is where injuries really happen. I'm going to show you the common mistakes without the weights because with the weights, showing the common mistakes, it, it can lead to a very, very, very bad injury. So what most people do, they first of all, put too much weight on the load. That's number one. Number two, they're rounding their back. And number three, they're doing knee bends instead of doing squats. So the proper way to do this exercise is basically making sure you select a proper amount of weight, the right amount of weight. Make sure you warm up properly. Do those static stretches in the big and dynamic stretches in the beginning. Warm up your knees, warm up your hips, warm up your back, warm up your ankles because those are all the joints that are going to be hinging during the squat. We have no back hinges at all. You know, most guys will put the weight on their back and they're rounding their shoulders this way. We always want to keep the shoulders square, shoulders back, waist sits on your traps. So I'm going to turn sideways. So when people are doing squats, they're rounding their back this way. In this position, even without the weight, I can already feel a little stress in my lower back. They're rounding their back and they're going down in this position. This right here will only put so much stress in your lower back and then your knees are going to roll forward as well. Because squats is like a domino effect. If you don't start right, you're not going to end right. If you start right, you will end right. So the most important thing to remember is Control the speed going down. Make sure your heel stays down at all times. And sometimes if you have very little ankle flexibility or hip flexibility for beginners, what I'm going to advise you to do is just go to parallel. Go a little bit low to parallel. Once you're right there, come back up. With time, you're going to be able to increase your range of motion and flexibility around your hips. You're going to be able to go below parallel. So I'm going to show you the proper way using the weight. First of all, I'm going to turn facing you so you can learn the proper way to pick up the weight. So what you want to do is make sure you use, in a deadlift, we talk about using the, the thumb measurement. So measure your thumb right and just grip right there. Normally you want to do an overhand grip because when you grip under this way, people tend to hold onto the bar too tight and that will throw their movement off. So put your thumb over this middle roughness in the middle right here, using the shining part here on both sides. You want your back to really sit on the rough side. So you want to pick it up and make sure you sit right there. You want to hold it that way, keep your chest up at all times. So this is the position you want to be when you pick up the weight. So now on the floor, I have this. I have these plates right here. So what these plates are for, sometimes we have tennis shoes that don't have enough heel or doesn't have enough flatness on the back, it's a little rounded. So what this is going to do is allow you to sit back on your heels more, push your hips back so you're able to clear your knees so your knees don't go too far over your toes. And please do not squat flat footed. I've seen all these videos on YouTube saying the best way to have a great quad is to squat back flat footed. Believe me, I've been doing this for more than 25 years. As an Olympic lifter, we never trained flat foot. You always want to train with the proper equipment. So never do anything in the gym barefoot. First of all, for safety reasons. You don't want to come around walking around the gym with no shoes on. So no barefoot squat. Make sure you find something that will stabilize your heels and center it out on the bottom. And one other thing that I want to show you guys here is safety. Safety is number one. You know, I have these locks right here. People that are doing squats, they don't have locks on both sides. They pick up the weight, they're stepping backwards. They tilt a little bit to the right, everything goes out. And that can, you know, result into bad injuries. So you always want to lock it out. Make sure you lock it out on both sides. 
So now I'm going to show you what it looks like from behind. The goal here, your width, make sure you have shoulder width. Everybody's height is different. If you're a little taller, obviously you want to go out a little bit more wider. But with my height, shoulder weight, toes slightly pointing out, and when you go into that squat, make sure your knees are pointing to your toes, not inside or not too far out. So I'm going to do my measurement right now. Step in, the weight sits on the base of the traps. Pick it up, one, two, step, heels right there. If you guys can see how my lower back is really, really activated. You don't want to be here. This is not good. You want to be here. Keep everything tight, chest up. Control the speed going down. Shooting the hips back. That is the tempo right there. Up top, squeeze. When you get to the top, slightly bend your knees. You're not only protecting your knees, you're also loading the muscle all the way. Really slow. Maintain that back at all times and then bring it back up. Go really slow, maintain that tempo, keep the hips shooting back on the bottom. Start with your butt first. Slow, get to the top. Slightly bend your knees. Come down really slow. Start with the butt first. Come up. The only time you want to deload is when you're moving away and re racking the weight. Now make sure you remember all these tips because you cannot replace squats with leg press or lunges or leg extensions. You cannot get that roundness, that full roundness that we bodybuilders get when we step on stage. So remember all the tips. Control the tempo. Make sure your knees are not pointing inward. You want your knees to point naturally towards your toes. Keep your hips back. Keep your heels grounded. And make sure you control your tempo and use that body and mind connection. As you guys can see, I only have 45 pounds on each side. My heart rate is already up. So it's not about the weight. Please remember this. The biggest common mistakes that I see at squats, too much weight, not enough range of motion. Halfway down, they put too much weight up and they're doing this. I see guys that their legs are this big, they're doing over four or 500 pounds, and I barely use 250, maybe barely 250, 260. You know, so I just choose a reasonable amount of weight that's gonna allow me to really feel the maximum load on my quads. So remember this, train right, squat right, and you're gonna build the mass you want in your legs.